Welcome to this video on pollinating your passion flowers. This bee is doing what it's supposed to do. He's a pollinator and he is getting pollen from the anther, which is a little pod and it's covered in pollen. And he's gonna deliver it to the stigma, which is directly above him, the purple one. And uh, if he's not around, we need to do it ourselves. So here's what you need. A yellow marker, a black marker, and a couple of Q-tips. Simple as can be, you're just going to turn your Q-tip and make a couple of stripes. There we have it, a little bumblebee pollinator. So here we go, we're taking our bee and we are rubbing it on the anther, the anther and putting it on the stigma. So we're collecting the pollen and we're putting it on the pollen receptacle. Um, those pads, those anthers are loaded with it and uh, they start out closed and throughout the day they open up um, to release it. So basically it's like they ripen and open up. So you got to get them when they are open. Maybe the pollinators won't see this one back up there. But we will. Bzz, 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 bzz. Look at all that pollen. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a flower coming to fruit now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. These bees are taking the days off. But we're not. What? What? There's another one in there? You see that? It's hiding in there. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Look at that. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Just spread that pollen around. Get your Q-tip in there and soak it up. You can see it getting loaded up. Just put that pollen up, get it on that stigma. You can tell um, with these flowers if there's pollen coming out and you can just spread it around. If the pollen isn't coming out, take it from the other flower and move it. You can move it from flower to flower. This flower you can tell has just closed up and this one here you can see this is what we get. We get the fruit and on the top of the fruit, you can see the remains of the flower. At the bottom of the fruit, you can see the remains of the stigma and the anthers. And uh, it's pretty cool just to see. You can squeeze a flower about a day or so later and tell if the ovary is swelling up. It's like the, the flower becomes a little hat on the fruit. But if you like this vi video, please comment. Tell us what you're making with your passion fruits. We make beer, we make margaritas, we uh, use it just to make juice, it's amazing. But please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a great day. Good luck with your passion fruit.